Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own email addresses with iPage web hosting. Now, I'm going to show you it on Fat Cow Hosting, but it's the same exact thing. Now, this is like a tutorial series, so if you haven't seen the other videos, they're right there. So let's go ahead and get started, assuming you already have your iPage web hosting account and the free domain that it comes with. Go to the login page and log into control panel. Now scroll down and go to the email section. Just click Mail Central and click Create Mailbox. And then right here where it says mailbox name, just enter the email name you want. I'm going to do contact me and choose the domain you're doing it for. I just have one, but you can click the drop down list if you have multiple domains. Then type in a password. Uh, remember it needs to be all that uppercase number character stuff. It has to have that. Then just click standard. There's these other features. They cost money, but I'm not going to look at that right now. Just click standard, enter the password you want, and then click continue. And there you go, your mailbox has been created and will show up within 20 minutes. Usually it will be pretty instant, so just go ahead and click the home button, go back to the main control panel, and scroll down. And if we click on Mail Central, there it is right there, contact me at outdoorsteveblogs.com. And you can also create more uh, just by doing the same process, create a mailbox and set up a new email address. Now I'm going to show you how to access it and respond and all that. But the first I want to show you if you click setup it gives you uh, the information here, the pop port, SMT uh, server information, stuff like this for your email address and you can also delete it here. So let's go back to the main control panel. I'm going to now show you how to set it up and use it. Um, first of all, your webmail. Click on webmail and enter the email we just made. So contact me or whatever one you made and the password and click login and it's gonna load here and there you go we can just close this unless you want that this is the main web mail how you would access your email I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with like Yahoo or Gmail or Outlook in a second but this is the main area you want to go to to check if the emails are coming through or if you need to verify that you own the email address web mail is the online uh, uh, source to check the email for this account. Okay, so let's go back to the main control panel and then click Mail Central again and click. Um, so, yeah, basically, if you're confused at this point, we just set up the email, um, our own email. So we have it here contact me at outdoorsteveblogs.com and then webmail is just the way to access your email through uh, the control panel on Fat Cow. You log in and click webmail. Um, you can see uh, your emails, but now I'm going to be showing you how to forward it. So you're going to click edit and then scroll down. There's all this stuff here. Click forwards. You're going to click the plus box. It's going to open it up and then choose the new destination for emails to be sent to. So go ahead and enter the email you want them to be sent to and click add. And there you go, it's now been added, so the emails are going to be sent there, and you can remove it if you want or add another destination. You can also set up auto responders here and import, export your emails. Now I'm going to show you how to actually uh, respond and get the emails on this account at Yahoo. Um, so er everyone's different. Maybe you have Hotmail, maybe you have Gmail. So I'm going to go to my Yahoo account. Um, for Yahoo, we go up here where this little gear icon is and click Mail Options. Um, click mail accounts here on the left and then click the uh, right here and then click right here this add button enter the account name I'm gonna do um, uh, contact me and then enter the email address the one we just created right here contact me at outdoor Steve's or whatever you created and click uh, let's see continue now it's going to ask you for all this information. This is optional and the reason why is this is in order to receive emails. But you don't need to do that because we already created a forwarder. So all the emails are already going to be sent to us automatically. We want the ability to respond. So you're going to click right here, skip this step, um, at least for Yahoo, skip this step to send only. Now it's going to tell you it's going to send a confirmation email to make sure you own this email address. Click OK and this is where we need uh, webmail. Remember the webmail thing I just showed you. So let's go back to control panel. We're going to access the online inbox webmail. Click webmail and log in. You know, the email and password we just made. Click, uh, there we go. And log in. And close that again. And here it is right here. 
the email at Yahoo sent us to confirm we own it. Verify this email address and just go ahead and click this and we are good to go it looks like. Your, address, your email address is now verified. You now have access to it. So now if we go back and I believe we can refresh. And there it is right there. It is now confirmed the contact me uh, account we just added. So I'm going to test it out. Um, I'm just going to send myself an email basically. I'm going to use the email we just made up. Uh, test, test. So first we're going to see if it sends to me. Send. And there it is. It showed up the email I just sent myself right here from my Yahoo account to my uh, Fat Cow email address we just made. It showed up. And the other thing is when you send an email, you click this drop down list and choose the domain you want to, the, the responding address you want to use. So this is the Yahoo one. And then this is the contact one that we just created. So you can choose which one you want to send it from. So we've now confirmed it's working. And then to do it with Gmail, I'm not going to show how to do it with every type of account, but I'm going to show you real quick on Gmail. You would do the same thing. Go up to the gear icon and click settings. Click accounts and import at the top. And then right here, add another email address you own. And basically just go through the same type of process. Enter the email, they're going to send you a verification, your name, and that's how you do it for Gmail, that's how you do it for Yahoo. And then same thing with like uh, Outlook Express. Uh, you can use the POP server information that I showed you or just uh, set it up like I did. And there you go, that's about it. Setting up a email address, how to receive them, forward them. You can also do an autoresponder. Um, manage a spam filter, you can edit this stuff. So if you have any questions and need help, uh, you can feel free to contact us on our contact form on hostexaminer.com. All the other tutorials for Fat Cow will be below or on this screen. And uh, thanks for watching.